LGM 30G Minuteman 3 is a U.S. land based intercontinental ballistic missile or called ICBM. It is the only land based ICBM in service in the United States. The L in LGM is for silo launched. G means surface attack. M stands for guided missile. The 30 stands for the Minuteman series of missile. And the G after 30 is the current Minuteman 3. Development of the Minuteman began in the mid-1950s as the outgrowth of basic research into solid fuel rocket motors which indicated an ICBM based on solids was possible. Such a missile could stand ready for extended periods of time with little maintenance, and then launch on command. In comparison, Existing U.S. missile designs using liquid rocket propellant required a lengthy fueling process immediately before launch, which left them open to the possibility of surprise attack. This potential for immediate launch gave the missile its name, like the Revolutionary War's Minuteman. The Minuteman was designed to be launched on a moment's notice. Minuteman entered service in 1962 as a weapon tasked primarily with the deterrence role. However, the development of the U.S. Navy's Polaris missile, which addressed the same role, allowed the Air Force to modify Minutemen into a weapon with much greater accuracy with the specific intent of allowing it to attack hardened military targets. The Minuteman II entered service in 1965 with a host of upgrades to improve its accuracy and survivability in the face of an anti-ballistic missile, or ABM, system the Soviets were known to be developing. Airmen from Minot and Vandenberg Air Force bases conducted an operational test launch of an unarmed Minuteman III missile. Today's test launch used an intercontinental ballistic missile pulled randomly from a silo on Minot, which was then transported and reassembled at Vandenberg, and launched by crew members from the 91st Missile Wing. The ICBM was equipped with a test re-entry vehicle and traveled approximately 4,200 miles to a test range near the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands. ICBM test launches verify the accuracy and reliability of the weapon system, providing valuable data to ensure a safe, secure, and effective nuclear deterrent. Minuteman III followed in 1970, using three smaller warheads instead of one large one, which made it difficult to attack because the ABMs would have to hit all three widely separated warheads to be effective. Minuteman III was the first multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle ICBM to be deployed. Each missile can carry up to three thermonuclear weapons, and were initially armed with the W-62 warhead with a yield of 170 kilotons. Suspension released. Launch closure door open. Airmen from Minot and Vandenberg Air Force bases conducted an operational test launch of an unarmed Minuteman III missile. The test launch used an intercontinental ballistic missile pulled randomly from a silo on Minot. The missile was then transported and reassembled at Vandenberg and launched by crew members from the 91st Missile Wing. This was the second test launch by Minot and Vandenberg crews this week. The ICBM was equipped with a test re-entry vehicle and traveled more than 4,000 miles to a test range near the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands. ICBM test launches verify the accuracy and reliability of the weapon system, providing valuable data to ensure a safe, secure, and effective nuclear deterrent.